Everybody. I want to tell you this story that took place in 2013. Really nostalgic for me. It's kind of funny and also just weirdly eventful in all of the weird ways possible. It took place in around April of 2013. I was in Santa Clarita, which is where I was living at the time, and I took the train all the way down to Burbank. I met up with my friend who lived in Burbank and we were going to spend the night at his house. There was one thing that I did before going to Burbank and I called Game Dude Rocks, which is located in North Hollywood. And I asked if they had a copy of this game, which is Jet Grind Radio on the Sega Dreamcast. Jet Set Radio! <laughs> this right here is the Japanese copy. But either way, I was destined to get this game because I've never played Jet Grind Radio before. I've heard all the rants and raves. This was actually the first time I ever tried the game. So my friend and I began to walk to Game Dude Rocks. And keep in mind, we were like on the border of Burbank and Glendale and North Hollywood is like on the other side of Burbank from there. So we had to walk all the way across from Burbank and then we had to walk a considerable amount of distance through like, I think Van Nuys, somewhere on Van Owens, getting into North Hollywood territory. And I was destined to buy it. I had the money. I was hardcore. I fucking had a Dreamcast in my goddamn backpack. And on the way, when we were just getting into like the North Hollywood area, we started to see some interesting things. And one thing that comes to mind right now is bullet holes on the side of a fucking vehicle. And there was like little bits of like red around the, the bullet hole. And we weren't exactly sure if they were like... Hey man, are you okay? But we kind of assumed the worst and we got the fuck out of there. And I think at one point we were getting so fucking tired of like walking around everywhere that we just took out the map on Google and we used like the last like 3% of battery that we had to navigate the area. Eventually we did get the Game Dude Rocks and eventually we did just fucking like go in, ask for the game, pay them, go. Usually when you go to Game Dude Rocks, it's kind of like going to Disneyland, at least for me, because Game Dude Rocks is one of those stores where it's like, oh my God, they have everything, everything. They have a whole wall of Dreamcast games, but I, I've talked about it before. I love Game Dude Rocks. They are just awesome. They're a great store. They're always fun. They've been around forever. But either way, like we started walking back and I think we walked to like my friend's grandma's house for a little bit just to rest and eat and drink and whatever before we got a ride home, which was a fucking miracle because like I did not want to walk anymore. And I think he didn't either. And we eventually tried this game and Honestly, it's not as good as I was hoping. Everything about the aesthetics and the music is good, but like the gameplay is like just goddamn awful. But if you're looking for like the novelty of this, I mean, fuck it, it's great. If you're just looking for the music though, I mean, just go on YouTube. Hideki Naganuma is a great musician and I think they're still making music actually. I also hear Hideki Naganuma is a trans ally, so. So yeah, I stayed the night and it was the first time I ever played Jet Grind Radio. It was also the first time I ever played Sonic 06. And uh, if you wanna know my experience with that, I got to Wave Ocean Zone, game over, and then started over at the very beginning. If you've ever played the game, you know exactly what I'm talking about. And um, yeah, never played that game again. And to be frank, I don't ever plan to. We stayed up all night watching anime. So the next day, two in the afternoon, and I had planned to catch a afternoon train in Burbank to go to Lancaster. Cause I was gonna go see Leftover Crack. Cause I really wanted to see them for the first time. At the time, they were like my favorite band. I mean, they were a huge deal for me. At the time, at the time, at the time, 
I had my ticket and I was like super pumped on going to the show, but I got to the train station. I fucking get on the train. It was announced that a train that like a couple stations over fucking ran over an old woman. Holy shit, man. So I get off the train and I don't really have a lot of money. I have like a bunch of quarters. I have like enough money for like maybe a bus ride or two. I take a gamble. This is like a complete gamble. I had no idea as to whether or not this was actually gonna happen. I use some of my like change to get on like a bus that's going to Silmar. And so I'm assuming that Silmar is gonna have like some kind of something to get everyone who is not gonna be able to ride the train coordinated to their destinations. And I was right. There were a bunch of buses that just kind of randomly showed up in Silmar. I got super lucky and I got on one of the buses. The downside is that we had to stop at every stop. So we had to stop at like New Hall, Santa Clarita, Via Princesa, I think Canyon Country. It's been a while since I've been on the Antelope Valley Metrolink line, but we definitely stopped in Palmdale and Acton. Not in that order. <laughs> and then we finally landed in Lancaster. I have like very little battery left on my phone because I'm coordinating all of this stupid bullshit that I'm doing. Seems to be a common theme with me and phones in this story. And so I really need to paint this picture for you, right? Because Lancaster is a big ass fucking city. Not because it's full of like bustling skyscrapers and all that. It's a desert town, meaning like a block in Lancaster is like several miles. I was just on my feet. I was going to be like running everywhere, try to find where I was going to be. I was literally just assuming that the train would take me somewhat close to where the venue is, which is the Moose's Lodge. I got lucky. I did not have to run very far to get to the Moose's Lodge. Just Wow. And I fucking slammed down. And yes, in case you're wondering, my Dreamcast, yes, went to the Leftover Crack show. This Sega Dreamcast had been to a punk show and it was a Leftover Crack punk show, no less. It doesn't get more punk rock than that, everyone. My friend's band, Captain Smooth Talk, was opening for them and I was hella jealous of that. <laughs> that Captain Smooth Talk is still an active band, still writing music and performing live shows today. I consider them a success story and I couldn't be more proud of them. Shout out to my friend Alejandro and shout out to my friend James from that band. Speaking of Alejandro, uh, we coordinated that I would be sleeping at his house that night and I slept on his floor. I woke up the next day and he drove me to the Lancaster train station, but we were a little late. I don't think he knew that, but we missed the train to get me back to Santa Clarita. The next train was at 3 p.m. And the train was like at 9 a.m. that I missed. So I had to wait like six hours and that's not fun. So what I ended up doing was walking to the Palmdale train station. Yeah, I walked to the fucking Palmdale train station, y'all. It wasn't really that bad a walk. I mean, especially since I had nowhere to really be. It, it, you know, six hours to get to the station wasn't really that bad. And then, you know, even by the time I got there, I still had like an hour or two left over to wait for that train to arrive. And I was that much closer to home. So I got some exercise out of that. I'm not complaining, but it was nice either way. Finally, I did catch that train and I did finally get to go home. I never really shared this story too much. I'm just really happy that I get to share this story with y'all. It's just one of my favorite memories. Even if it's like kind of discombobulated, it's just a really fun weekend that I had with a bunch of random people doing a bunch of random hooligan bullshit things. And all of the circumstances, even though they weren't all that great, 
I still had a great time. I had memories of playing Jet Grind Radio, taking my Sega Dreamcast to the fucking Leftover Crack Show, and Jet Grind Radio, of course, got to go to that show too. <laughs> anyway, that's all for today. Uh, I hope you liked this video. Hit the like button, hit the comment button, subscribe, I think, I don't know.